Hi. Trying again. Okay, so I am making chicken tenders, mashed potatoes, and corn. See, what I do is I take potatoes and mashed potatoes and I cut them up. And I put them in water to boil on the stove. Super simple. Anything you're making out of potatoes, first you take the potatoes. Fries, tenders, oh yeah, fries. I need one of these. Um, when you're cooking in oil, you want to have a potato sliced up so you can put it in the oil pot. Alright, so I'm using peanut oil. Um, kind of cheap. Got it Kroger. Um, usually $7.99 a gallon or something. And I have extra oil somewhere else, but I'm just going to use this oil. So, I want my chicken nuggets. Not nuggets, sorry. Chicken tenders. To have some oil to kind of swim around in. And remember about water displacement. It will fly around in the in the pan. It will make the oil go up when I put it in there. Okay, so these are the ones I got. Uh, they're very... I'm just putting them in water. Come on, stupid thing. I don't want to restart or nothing. Okay. So these are going to go, these went in water, and this is what I'm cooking. Um, you can do water, you can do egg wash, um, you can do it all different kinds of ways, but this is the way I feel like doing it. So I've got this pan. Okay, so I've got my oil. I'm rather high. I like it high because it gets... It cooks it pretty fast, and I like it to come out kind of um, brown, like real dark. And Terry likes them real dark. I also have my toaster oven over here, which I got at Walmart. For, not Walmart. Well, at first I got one at Walmart with $64. Um, but they're hard to find now. It's Black & Decker 8 Slice um, convection oven. If you get it on Amazon, which I got this one on Amazon, it's 75 it's the best thing ever. You can cook in the summer with an oven and not heat up your whole house. So that's that's the point of that. Okay, corn. I'm doing fresh corn. I'm going to do an ear for each of us. And I'm going to show you how easy it is. Uh -oh. I mean, like, so, okay, I'm going to show you how easy this is corn. You get it. Ah. Now you drop it on the floor. Okay, so you get it and you don't take the stuff off. You don't chuck it. What you do is you put it in the microwave. You just put it in there. Don't worry about putting a plate there or nothing. You just put it in there. So I got two of them. And I like to do one for six minutes. So two is not double the time. It's not slow. It's, um, it's like ten. I'm just going to do time to 10 minutes. Sorry. So now I've got 10 minutes to finish my t potatoes and finish my chicken fingers. See, I can't remember words. Yeah, I know. I had lethologica. Oop. There is a word for your book. Lethologica. It's like I drank the, the water's left and I can't remember anything. It's or CRS. Can't remember shit, right? Okay. So. Yeah, I put that on the back burner. I put the pot on the back burner because I don't like popping grease in the freezer. So it's going to be way worse than me. Stop thinking I'm trying to turn you off. Stop it. Alright, so the batter. The wing batter. Right, okay, so the batter. I'm using, um, not sugar. I have a big old thing of flour. I don't know where it went. Where is this flour? Where did I put it? Oh, wait, I've got some flour in here. I can use this. Yeah, don't don't put your flour like that. Top it into the white so they get. Oh, this is like already seasoned flour. Well, I don't have a lot of it in here. I'm gonna need more. Yeah, I got some of it. Oh, it's definitely seasoned. Oh, it's a lot of flour. Plain old flour. Plain old flour. I just use whatever flour. I'm not. I'm not one of those chefs that. 
Oh, you need the gluten-free, amazing, blah, 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 flour. You can use the gluten-free flour if you really need some gluten-free flour, flour, but I'm really boring when it comes to Okay, so ah, my pit potatoes are on high. Take my potatoes away. Look, they're boiling. All right, um, and my grease should be good now. Okay, so this is what I do. This is my, this is my little thing. Make it crispy. Put some of this in there. I'm really bad. I will use my fingers on everything. Wow, I've got a lot of this stuff. <laughs> Whoops. So much flour. Okay. That's okay. I can save it. I can save it in the bag. I didn't throw the bag away. So, I can save it in the flour. I just have to remember it's dinner seasoning and not breakfast seasoning. Breakfast seasoning includes all the same stuff, but you can make it sweet. Um, it's for when you're doing chicken, chicken and waffles. You want to have breakfast seasoning. Actually, I found this at the local um, Spanish market I go to. It says habanero. So let's see if we get some great spice. It was trying to let me make me sprinkle. I was not sprinkling. No, I was taking this whole thing out because I'm dumping. This is flour. I'm dumping. Dumping it in the flour. Yes. So of course, put a bunch of onion powder, garlic powder in there. Um, I'm going to need salt probably. I have a problem with salt because I I end up putting too much in. Um. <laughs> I'm awful that way. I say, put some this in there. It's just basically I'm putting in all my different seasonings. I have this cute little seasoning rack. I got it well, uh, at Amazon, of course. So I got them and I put them up. It makes it so much easier. I've never had a seasoning thingy. I've never had a thing that stores my seasoning. Thingy. So I vet the stuff up. I'm like, woohoo! So I got the habanero. I got the original. I use some Cajun. Um, I've got the seafood magic stuff. I've got uh. This uh, Creole seasoning. Oh, you hear that? You hear that like pop, pop, pop? That's my oil trying to get hot. Slap your mother. I don't even know if this is good or not. I just put oven air on it, so it's not like. I'm gonna put some in there. It's chicken, it's flour. The, the, the seasoning gets on it, it's just not. It's not a lot of seasoning. I was going to use my iodized sea salt, but it's thicker salt, and I like thinner salt. Actually, to really get it going, I'm going to show you something really cool. Get the salt thick on the chicken. Now, most salt is regular, regular salt. It's just this, you know, this kind of salt, right? But I got a mortar and a pestle. And what this does is it makes my salt into powder salt. So it sticks on things better. It's great when you're doing it for um, those peanuts and your peanuts don't have enough salt on it or almonds don't have enough salt on it. You just put your salt in the mortar and you put the pestle on it and then you dump the salt in. I don't even have to use that much salt because it's really fine now. That's the difference between the salt you have at home and the salt you have at McDonald's. The McDonald's salt is fine. Alright, so my oil. My oil is going real good. Right? It is bubbling up good. I got a little bitty sliced potato in there. It tells me how my oil is. I will show you what it looks like. See? Potato's going good. Bubbling really fast. Okay, boom. It is time to put the chicken in there. Now I move the chicken around in my water. Right? Oh, I can actually hold it with this. So I move the chicken around in my water. And I'm... I am making a mess of this flour. I just got it all over my foot. Terry's going to be mad. He does like most of the cleaning in here. So I'm kind of doing it twice. Because... Well... Because you want it to stick real good. And I'm putting right in the grease. Now I want to do two at a time. So I could do one at a time, but it's going to take so fucking long. I don't feel like taking that long. So I'm going to do two at a time. Where did I learn how to cook? I didn't learn how to cook. This, this is me playing games 
pretending that I know how to make stuff in the kitchen. Now look, my fingers got breaded twice. Look at that. So, come over here. See, Carrie's mad because I had dishes in the kitchen. The dishes are in the sink. I wash them. I'm like, well, you know, now that I don't have any dishes in the sink, I think I use cleaning off my hand, one-handed. Fun! And, so I have three minutes left on that, which is fine. I am leaving my potatoes boiling until I'm done with everything. Okay. Yeah, it's got a little, um, handle on there. Yeah, I mean, Okay, let's get this going where it, where I want it. Okay, so now that I've made a mess, I put stuff all over the floor this time. <laughs> yep, I got telling you, I make the mess, he cleans it up. That's pretty much why he was yelling at me earlier because he knew it was a mess. All right, so I got two things going. Super easy stuff, right? Super easy stuff, right? So it's boiling in there. And I have I have tongs that I can grab it with. So I'm trying to figure out where I put them. Oh yeah, I guess I was sure they're in the dishwasher. Which I meant to run. You can see how 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 awesome my dishwasher is, right? Okay. Let me fix my little stand on the back of my Okay, that's better. So, I need to, um, wash these dishes. So I am always out of my mind. I'm always all over the place. So I'm going to do this little thing. And let me show you how to start it. And see if my other tongs are in here. Oh, my big tongs are not in here. Oh, where are my tongs? Oh, there's my tongs. I found them. We have them. We have them hanging up. So I have to look around my kitchen. I'm like, where's my stuff? Look around my kitchen. It's hanging up somewhere. I'm gonna keep trying to destroy my thing. Oh well, right? I'm gonna fix it again. So I'm gonna hold you upside down for a second. It's this really cool thing that my that my tablet uses. Alright, so I'm using it like a handle and it doesn't like it. So we're gonna check. Make sure it's not stuck together. And it's not you want you don't want to mess with it too much when it's in there, because that's where you run into problems. Because when it's in there and it's just at the beginning of cooking it will um, fall off and that sucks so while that's in there I'm going to bread some more chicken and I showed you how I did it but I can do it again and yeah we're doing it live because um, I've seen a lot of people cook before <laughs> it takes them a very long time but we're doing start to finish. That was microwave, microwave beeping about my corn. I'm getting a paper plate so I can put my breaded chicken on. So I can be ready for my breaded chicken to be, to put it in the pot. So I'm just breading it right now. My pan and my, my thing of flour, my seasoned flour with some cornstarch in it and I think I think I started doing the cornstarch I think it started being crispier I'm not sure why but I have an idea it is because when when you <clears throat> it's a really good sopper upper so I don't know if you know like senior your parents you know I'm older than most of you. I don't know if you've seen your parents put cornstarch in their shoes, but they would to keep sweat from coming in and it doesn't smell like anything. So, but you put it in cooking and it sops up the grease and it expands faster so it 
takes it away, wicks it away from the flour. So what you've got is dry crispy. Okay. What I really like cooking in for um, chicken is um, that mocha meal stuff. You get it in the kosher section <coughs> if you have one in your store. You can get a container of, of just mocha meal. <coughs> but I don't like the container of just mocha meal as much as I like the um, matzo ball mix, and that comes in a little, a little box about about that big, and it's it's awesome. Oh, I was like, what am I hearing? The dishwasher, dishwasher. Okay, so I'm starting to get some color on these, and this is on pretty much high. I'm very high. I'm starting to get some color, so I'm going to show you. The so I don't know if you can see, it's starting to get some color on them. You know, they're they're basically done. You can eat them. Um, but I I I, I want to get more color on it. It's it's about making them crunchier, more color and crunchier. All right, and my potatoes are like that. They're they're probably done. You can check on them being done if you're very careful with a fork, but you really don't want to do that on pans like these because these pans are non-stick and you want to keep metal out of them. But I can poke it a little bit without hitting the bottom of the pan with the sides of the pans, and I can poke it a little bit. You can see how it wants to fall apart, but it feels a little bit still hard right there, just a little. I'm going to give it another five minutes. You just want to boil them to death. Boil them, boil them, boil them. Alright. So now, the corn. The corn is done. I don't want to take the corn out and peel it and show you that it's done. But, I can touch it. See? Oh, it's steam coming out. Okay, look. So all the steam coming out. And they are squishy. Which is good means they're done. I did the two of those in there just like that. You just put them in there. Don't shock them. Put them in there. It gives you the, it gives that really good flavor of, of the outside that the, the, you know, the green stuff. It gives you the flavor of the green stuff and it's a really good idea to put it in there like that because it comes out super good. I think, I think my chicken is done. Um, I can tap it. So, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to get so much better at this. I'm going to have like a, a thing that sticks out that like, that holds, holds my tablet so I don't have to move it around. But this is a chicken. It's actually pretty done. And so is that piece of potato. Ah. All right, so I'm taking another piece of potato and burning myself. I'm taking another piece and putting it in there. Um, it's a piece of green from uh, burning. I get very mad, so I'm putting more chicken in there. I'll show you how to do it again. Pop chicken in there. This is my breaded chicken. Pop chicken in there. Before you cook. So yeah, I was talking to um, talking to this girl the other day, and she told me that that they don't cook. They don't cook anything. And I was like, how do you even survive if you don't cook? I'm gonna keep talking about you, Jessica. Her name is Jessica Venture, one of the biggest Aqua Teen Hunger Force fans. So she was talking about, well, they don't cook. I'm like, what do you mean? How do you not cook anything? I mean, how do you just survive without cooking anything? Apparently, they get this. Apparently to get everything frozen, like if you're going to cook chicken fingers like I'm cooking right now, apparently you take them frozen with the breading already on there and you put them in the oven. I think it's weird, but okay. 
So I'm just showing you how I'm making some plain old chicken fingers. It's just gonna be chicken fingers, corn, and mashed potatoes. That's it. Now normally I do my mashed potatoes in the microwave. It's the same thing. You put it in a thing with some water and you put it in the microwave for about 12 minutes. And you let the potatoes boil like crazy. That's what you do. You boil them till they're dead, basically. So that's what I do. Okay, so my potatoes are pretty much done because they are running out of water. Alright then. Guess they'll be done. Okay. So what we're gonna do. is I'm going to take the water out of the potatoes. Um, normally I have two hands, so I'm doing it one-handed and I'm showing you. Just basically strain it. Strain it, put potatoes in here. You can do this on the counter, you can do this on the stove. Stove, take the heat off. All right, we're gonna be eating here. We're gonna do milk and we're gonna do butter and we're gonna salt them. So, I don't even know what you've been saying. Let me see here. Oh, okay. So I'm taking some butter out. Put it in the pan. Taking some milk. Because you want creamy mashed potatoes, right? So I'm taking some milk. Put it in the pan. Yeah, I know. It looks like I put a lot. Oop. Potato masher. Terry taught me this. I love this potato masher. It is plastic. And plastic doesn't kill your pot. So then you mash them. Now this is great, a great thing to make tacos with too, because you can do this while you've got taco meat in the pan. So you just mash in the taters. That's what you're doing. You're just mashing them. And this is these taters are homemade mashed potatoes. That's how easy it is. You can put them in the microwave and leave them in a container for 12 minutes, strain out the water, put your butter and your milk and your salt in there, and you are done. You don't need to buy the mashed potatoes in one of those packets. You don't need the packet mashed potatoes. They are more labor intensive than just getting a bag of potatoes and doing your potatoes. Seriously. It's so much easier, so much better for you. Not all those sulfates, whatever. You can use your salt substitute. You get to decide how much salt you want in them. You get to decide if you're going to make it lactose free and not have milk in them or use the lactose free milk. You get to decide whether you want them peeled or not. You can take the peelings out, but I'm saying don't take the peelings out because you don't want to take the peelings out. The peelings are good for you. And this stuff, it is more vitamin C than oranges. So. But I'm doing just, you know, plain old, make some chicken fingers, mashed potatoes, and corn. And I really haven't spent that long. And I'm, I'm mixing this up like this. I can use it as a... Or whatever, but I have those. I have whisks. I have plastic whisks. These are really cool. Oh, and if you have problems getting stuff at Walmart or whatever, go to the dollar store. Dollar store has a wall full of spatulas and everything you want to use for it. Whip the stuff up and then you just whip it. And you've got awesome homemade whipped mashed potatoes. You can eat them with everything. Super, super easy. Chicken takes less, takes less time to cook the longer you have your oil on. But you know, so it's about just as long as it takes for it to cook. That's the way. Alright. Pretty much everything is done except for the chicken. I just want to go ahead and cook all my chicken. Because 
easier to store chicken that's already cooked than it is chicken that hasn't been cooked yet. Especially if you've already had it in there and frozen. Alright, so I've got three left. I might as well just put all three of them in there. That's what I'm doing. Putting all three of them in there. The, top, the pot is tall. So I don't have to worry too much about the grease popping out, the grease getting out and onto the stove. It's going to be perfectly fine. It's not going to overflow. It's awesome. And look at the mess I made. Woohoo! Okay. So, like, if you clean while you cook, which is basically what I'm trying to do, is clean while I cook, you can have your kitchen clean by the time you're done making the meal. Or you can be lazy like I usually am and make your husband do it. <laughs> uh, I'm so mean to him sometimes. That's why he's getting mad at me. He's like, well, you're going to show our nasty kitchen? Why are you showing our nasty kitchen? Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. There we go. Well, it's mostly clean, and I need to put this up. Okay, now did you have, I do have a dishwasher, so, ouch. I'm trying to clean my plates, I think. <laughs> I'm playing barefoot, and I get flour on my feet. And then I get water on my feet, because I'm dropping stuff. So I end up with a floured and battered foot. And it doesn't, it, it feels weird. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay, so my chicken cooking, my mashed potatoes done, my chicken done, and all my all my things. I'm having it on kind of kind of high. Yeah, there's paper towels in there, but don't worry, they're not sitting on the burner or anything. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna not gonna do anything weird. And I have no idea what the hell is under here. There's something. Oh, it must be a piece of. There's. See the fire is too high. I don't know what that is. I'm pulling it out. I'm putting it in the kitchen. In the sink. Yeah, that's better. See, now I don't have all that flame. Okay, okay. <laughs> Just wait. Pay attention. If you want to pay attention to where things are in the kitchen. Because you don't want to cause, catch weird fires, and you also don't want to have something unknown burning on your burner because it's going to put weird flavors in the air and it'll mess up your food. <laughs> okay, so I'm almost done. I think I showed you how to do everything, but I, don't, I haven't showed you the plate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put something on the plate so you'll see because everything's done, really. I know these are big chicken fingers because I did them at home. So these are the chicken fingers on the plate. on the plate. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to shuck it. <laughs> now I'm shucking the corn. And it's still warm. I can hold it. I don't know if you can see it here. This view of it. Let me see. Well, that's not going to help anything. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's the, um, my little thing from my tablet. Alright, so I'll just shuck it like this. Okay, so... You think see, sit, letting it sit there for a long time is bad, but it's not, and it's super, super hot. So I'm being careful, but <laughs> and it's so hot. <laughs> I know I'm so bad. Okay. So 
So I'm going to put some butter on it. Let me run into things. I'm using margarine because I like it and it tastes good. It's this salt stuff called Imperial. Carrie's like, don't do that. Don't tell people what it is because everybody will buy it all because it's so good. All right. And I have Mashed taters, chicken. Oh, and I can tell you how good the chicken is. I know it's done. I cook things till they're done. I don't know how long to cook them for. But I know. No pink. Just cook till it's done. So, this is awesome. You guys cook them the way you want. You can do gravy with them. Packet gravy is just fine if you want to do packet gravy. Um, so that's how I make stuff at home. It's super easy. It's faster than you think it is. It comes out super fresh. Super yummy. The ingredients you want to put into it. And it's already got to be half the um, half the fat and half the calories of pretty much anything you get at a restaurant or anything frozen. Who knew? And yeah, we cook like this pretty much all the time. This is easy cooking. This for me is, you can get this in a frozen dinner. I call it my frozen dinner. Same thing with my make a hamburger, put some gravy on it. That's my frozen dinner. That's what I call it. Because you can get it in a frozen dinner and I just make them at home. Um, fresh ingredients fresh everything. Just put together and you make it. It's not hard. Anybody can do it. Alright. Okay. So, love you guys. I'm gonna end this and you guys have fun. Bye.